This time on Box, I'll show you this, this, and this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've been just uh, fixing the toilet a bit. And by the way, rubber gloves can be used for many other things too. Like thrilling your friends with an evil zombie hand in their party drink. <laughs> First, make sure you rinse it really well inside and outside so it's really clean. Then you fill it up with your favorite beverage. Or you can also use regular water with some food coloring if you wish. Just make sure it's safe to eat. Then here's how to hang it. I use two big paper clips and then I use a pencil that I stick into these paper clips like that. And then I hold on to it tightly. I stick two brushes. <laughs> yeah, that's box yourself style. One brush here and one brush here. And then you need to hang it in your freezer because when you hang it like this, you will get a flat freeze on top so that it's much more stable when you later stick it in the drink. Okay, I'm off to the freezer with this one. See you later. Then you make some jelly and put in the bottom of a glass bowl so that the hand is more stable when you put it in. And here it is. Now let's remove the glove. I start with uh, making a little uh, slit going down all the way to the wrist. Then we gently pull the rubber off. Make sure you support each finger so that the pressure from the knife doesn't uh, crack the finger in two. Oh, jolly good, look at that. It's like peeling a banana. <laughs> then we can also try to pull off the rubber this way. Oh, <laughs> perfect green monster hand made from lime soda. Yeah, get into the jelly. Nice. And then you fill it up with your favorite beverage. And adding a bit of lemon and lime to make a really nice and fresh drink. Pop in some straws and you have a freshly cursed jelly soda drink. Party time! And here is another little idea for a fun Halloween prank you can do using jelly. Now here I have a bowl of jelly that is about to cool down and go stiff. It's still quite soft, but it's about to go stiff. So before it goes really stiff, you insert your skull. Now it's very important that your skull is waterproof. That means that it doesn't have a lot of holes and stuff in it. So you see this one is totally sealed, doesn't have any holes, it's uh, all plastic. Then you can insert it into the jelly upside down. Now as you do this, make sure that no jelly comes into the mechanism that is there. This is a, the electrical mechanism that comes with the skull. You need also to uh, put the lid on so that you keep it in place while it's um, stiffening up. So this is a bit tricky. There, yeah, <laughs> now it's trapped in the jelly of death. Okay, I'm off to the fridge. Oh, and here is one that I made earlier. Let's see if it's nice and ready. Okay, I'm gonna remove the lid now. So I'm gonna use a knife to get the lid out. Oh yeah, quite easy, quite easy. Very good. And then I'm gonna turn on the light. Are you ready? Here it comes. Yeah, and then we turn it around on our nice glass tray. Whoop. Yeah, party time. Here's a tip for how to decorate your table for 
Halloween. <laughs> really evil decoration. Now, and you need a plate, a bit of red uh, paint. Uh, put the red paint on the plate. That's enough. Then a little bit of water and a brush to dilute it. And when it's diluted, you put on your very best paper tablecloth. Ah. Ah. Oh. Beautiful and uh, disposable tablecloth. Then you bring back your paint. Ready for this? Take your nimble hands, put into the paint. <laughs> and then some napkins. Yeah. Oh, nice. And when it's dry, you can set up the rest of the table with your cursed cups and plates. Okay, all you need now is a whole bunch of evil food. Happy Halloween, everybody! <laughs>I just want to say thank you so much my friend for watching my channel watching my videos uh, it's because of you that I am able to exist 